Hi guys, my name is Scott and welcome to our new CPAC tutorial on how to do a 3D underground plan. So this is our uh, drive. So you can either do a drive and add it or uh, whatever you want to do. This is just for 3D underground purposes. So uh, I'm going to assume that you know how to edit your strings and digitize your strings. So in this case we have these strings. We have the foot wall and the uh, the hanging wall, sorry, and the foot wall. So if you don't know how to edit and do these strings, you can watch our other videos. I will put the link below. So from here, go to solids, uh, triangulate. Then we say inside a segment. Then you apply the segment you want uh, the segment. So from here, uh, what you do. We want to make a, a a hole here, which is going to be our drive, our sorry, our shaft going downwards. So what we can do, you can come to uh, surfaces, a DTM, then clip DTM with the string. Then you select the DTM that you want to clip. Uh, I select the DTM, then the string that you want to use. I want to use this string. Then when I select. They need to ask me whether to keep what is inside or outside. <coughs> In this case, I want to keep what is outside. Then I say apply. Then let's go to top view. As you can see, this is what you are having. So from here, uh, remember sometimes some people want to uh, the shaft to go. Let's say this one has to go to 30 meters. Uh, I can come here again to display. Then I have to switch off this uh, hide solids. Then I just say apply. I want to hide that solid so that I can use this uh, shaft position. So in this case, I can oh I can now come to edit. Remember, I want to drop that uh, shaft uh, 30 meters down. So I come to segment uh, edit. Then I say copy segment. I want to copy this segment. Uh, there are many ways to do this, so I can just copy it and leave it uh, in that color. Then I just say apply. It asks me to drag and drop. Uh, I think I've, I'm done. Just to check. That's the segment that you're having. So now press escape. As you can see, we now have a new segment there. I want to drop one of these two for the shaft again. So I come here again. Then uh, to, uh, to to edit, string edit, then go down to string math. So string math, the field that I want to do the math in is the string number uh, Z file. The expression Z, I want to drop it by 30 meters, meters sorry, so I say Z minus 30, then apply. Then need to select this uh, the segment, so I want to drop this alone. Uh, as you can see, I've selected it, then you press escape, you want to check, oh I actually have dropped everything, so I need to redo there, now let's just go undo, okay, now it's fine, I dropped too many things here, so from here, I now have my two strings. I think I had uh, created too many strings here. I can just come here and uh, delete one of the segments. Just to be sure. Let me delete this one. Uh, and do sorry. I want to delete a string, not a segment. So I come here and say edit uh, uh, segment. Then you say segment delete. Then you select the segment that you want to delete. Then after that, you just press escape. I think now they are okay. So what I will do, I will start with the shaft in this case. So again, I will go to solids, triangulate between two segments, then apply. I'm going to select this one as our first segment. Then the next segment will be this one. As you can see, it is triangulated. Then it brought back the one we we had hidden. Just press escape. 
let me rotate it as you can see you can just uh let's view it on top to view this is it we have something like this it's going in there so now we need to finish the whole thing we can again select for the top segment again for the hanging wall sorry go to solids create i'm saying inside the segment because the segment is closed so i can say apply then select the segment so sometimes you can have the warnings like these ones the ones they are showing me here because uh, there might be some points which are less than uh, 0 0.05 uh, apart so it won't triangulate if you are having points like that so what you need to do you go to an area where you can view the segment correctly or the view that you want then go to edit you go to segment or a string in this case i can actually go to string clean then you say go to string clean then you say remove or mark uh, the duplicate uh, points in that that string then i will just say apply if you i say remove then they will be removed but i want to show you the the points so i'll just click here as you can see it's giving me the red marks on the points that uh, have duplicates this is one of them and this is one of them you can either delete them manually or you can just go to strings again a string clean red here i want uh, the maximum temper distance i want it to be 0 0.2 then i say remove points which are duplicate remember i'm just saying for the string not for the layer if you say for the layer it will give you a uh, it will the, we have uh, the top and the bottom layer it might end up uh, removing everything from both layers we just want for the top layer then we say apply then select uh, string to clean this one is the string that you want to clean as you can see warning two points deleted those are the two points that you're having here so I can press escape seems like now it's clean we can now go to solids triangulate inside the segment then you say apply select the segment as you can see uh, this one is done then press escape don't forget to press escape now we just need to close the sides again remember these are closed segments so you just go back to solids triangulate uh, between segments apply we are choosing the top segment and the bottom segment which is our high uh, our hanging wall and our foot wall then you just say apply you just select, select like this there you go we now have our drive and our shaft in the drive here the shaft that we had created now what you need to do i know that this was an opening this was sort of an edit to get into a drive so i can always open this side <coughs> sorry so i can go to solids again then you are going to edit uh solids delete single triangles you want to delete this one so that we can open so this is our opening going inside you can press escape after you finish then from there you need to save it as a dtm so i'm saving it i can uh, put one so that it won't affect my other strings then i just say apply there you go okay now restart you can always drag it back you can check uh the side views every view this is uh our drive in 3d with its shaft i hope you enjoyed the video and make sure to like and subscribe so that we can continue making more videos like this thank you guys